Hello, my name is Christian Raue and welcome to today's stream sheet session. In this session, I would like to show you how you can connect stream sheets to Shopify using Kafka. Our final goal is to build a dashboard where we can see uh, the sales data in real time as it happens in Shopify. In this first part, I show you how to connect Shopify with Kafka using a stream sheet that resides in the cloud and works as a gateway between Shopify and Kafka. And in a later session, I will show you how we retrieve data from Kafka um, onto a locally uh, hosted stream sheet where we then build the dashboard. So let's have a look at our uh, setup here. Uh, we can see that we built a demo shop in uh, Shopify and <clears throat> We are using uh, a technology called webhooks to connect stream uh, sheets or let's say connect Shopify with uh, stream sheets using Kafka. And um, so let's have a look here in our demo shop. We, of course, have a lot of products defined, but in the administrative panel here, we also have a settings feature and if you go on the settings there's a notifications section and with the notifications here at the end you see that i already created two webhooks and uh, this webhooks basically means that there is a url that the system is calling and um, once it's called it will then send the data which is connected to a certain event in this case um, the sale of a product um, is transporting that as a JSON payload to the REST server. So uh, we have two webhooks here. Uh, the one is for order creation. The other one is for order updates, but basically contains the same data. And um, so let's see how we have to prepare stream sheets to uh, receive this. Um, so in our stream sheet, uh, we have an administrative panel as well. And here we define that we would use a REST server uh, provider um, and that we have a URL, which is Shopify. Um, and based on this uh, connector, already created a consumer, which is actually consuming the data. And that also has part of the URL um, that's action. So um, we see this here. Um, so with these two um, settings, we make sure that uh, StreamSheet is accessible using this uh, URLs. And um, okay, now let's have a look at our stream sheet. I already prepared this a little bit. You can see that uh, we have uh, an inbox and that inbox is connected exactly with the consumer that we created. And um, it's now ready to receive data. Um, let's do a process here and let's buy the SOTI2 surfboard and it's a straightforward process here so basically we are uh, checking now out um, we have some demo customer here and we continue to the payment and uh, since it's a demo account i simply use one as the card number use my name <clears throat> and uh, expiration date and security code the second that i press the pay now button, you will see that we have data arriving here and there. So this is the message. This is the payload that we actually get. And um, so that's the connection that's already working. Now let's see how we can process the data on the stream sheet. So I um, prepared something here already. Uh, basically, this is the interesting part. Now we want to make sure that the data that arrives with the message that it is uh, transferred to the stream sheet. Um, and we simply do this uh, by, by using a, a drag and drop um, operation. And um, I can simply you know, scroll through the payload. There are a lot of fields here. So we have to make sure that we uh, find the, the right one. For example, I'm now looking for the card token here. And there it is. And what I previously did, and I'm repeating this, I'm simply dragging and dropping this uh, operation here. And also uh, you can see that it gives me the, the line items 
as an array and I have name, quantity, and price. So I find quantity here and um, name I find here and the price is down here. So that's basically now what's happening that it is connecting these uh, value fields with the uh, payload from the messages which are transferred through the webhook. And um, what I did then is to I um, created uh, some keys that I would like to use in the JSON payload that I will then send via Kafka. And um, so that's easy. I just typed in those, those names and um, <clears throat> made sure that I have some values. In this case, for example, I used a formula, which is basically adding those two strings. So I have a unique uh, key. And then I have the reference to the product name. I renamed the key here, uh, quantity. It's easy. It's the same one as we have here. And I need to calculate the line price because uh, with the webhook, I only get the quantity and the single price. Um, so I'm using uh, a multiplication here. And I also have to convert B7 from a string to uh, a value. So that's happening here. And um, so that's basically it. What I did, and I'm undoing that, uh, that's how it would look like when you start working with it. And then I defined this as a JSON range. And um, so now this is JSON. That's necessary because Kafka likes to have uh, JSON um, in as payloads. And also it's very handy to use uh, JSON. And now um, I have this Kafka publish function here, but before I explain uh, the function, I will show you what I did in order to create uh, a Kafka cluster. It's actually very easy to create a Kafka cluster because Confluent is offering the, the Confluent cloud. And so let's have a look. Um, I did that um, before and I have a, a cluster here um, with you know, <clears throat> a certain uh, URL and it's hosted on AWS and I have username and password. Um, so I need this, of course, if I want to access or if I want to, want to produce data into the um, cluster. And the other thing I need is a topic. Um, so in this case, I created a topic called Shopify. Uh, as you know, topics are the, the important thing if you work with Kafka. And I'm looking into the topic. There are no messages here yet, but that's, of course, going to change. And uh, once I have the information in terms of the URL, the username, password, I can uh, create uh, another uh, connector in Stream Sheets, which I prepared here. So you have the URL um, of the uh, Confluent Cloud cluster, username and password. Uh, and based on this connection, um, and I can refresh this to connect it, um, then I can uh, define a producer. Obviously, I need a producer in this case because I want to produce data in Kafka. And um, so that's the two things that I need here. And let's go back to what this Kafka function is actually, the publish function is doing. It's uh, very easy. Um, basically, you explain you know, what kind of uh, stream you want to produce. In this case, uh, Kafka publish and the producer that I created. That's the message. You know, so I can highlight this here. And I need a topic. So I'm adding this. That's the topic that I created in the Confluent Cloud. Press OK. So that's it. You know, now uh, straightforward, receiving data through the webhook. Every time that happens, the stream sheet will recalculate. And at the end, this publish function will be executed. So let's uh, give it a try. Um, first thing I do is I make sure that I'm here on the message view. And um, now I am going to continue shopping. So actually, I'm going to buy two products. So we can see the, the loop. Uh, feature that we have in stream sheets. So I'm adding that to the card and um, continue shopping. And I'm also going to put the body XT product in the card. 
and now have uh, two products. Maybe it's um, two of them and three of those. And checking out. So we can see right now, uh, and I should start this. Uh, we are on step zero. Um, and we are continuing to the payment. And now we should see actually two steps happening because we are processing two um, line items. Again, the necessary information for the payment details. And do this now. Pay now. You can see that step zero now, but it will receive the data. And since uh, there's a loop uh, defined, we would then uh, get two messages or two process cycles. And if we go on Confluent, we can see, and I should go on full screen now, uh, you see that we are receiving two uh, messages and um, they have the data. And you can see that we are receiving two more messages. Um, and that is because Shopify is also updating uh, the uh, order details. Um, and in this case, uh, you have four records now, and it will be uh, something that our dashboard, which we do in the second uh, session, have to deal with that it has duplicate entries here. But uh, for now, that's just fine. That's exactly what we expected. It's a stream of data. And um, so let's 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 wrap it up. This uh, first um, session, we have um, our shop we have uh, webhooks that we use to fill this data to uh, execute an event execute the recalculation and do a, a publish here as you can see that's all happening in the cloud so we have uh, the shopify account in the cloud we have the confluent cloud and we have the demo cloud for the seda law for the uh, stream sheet applications and um, that must be of course must be a uh, server which is in the cloud because a webhook can only uh, work with other cloud-based um, servers. But the interesting thing is that that we do in the second part is that once you have it in Kafka, we can of course run a, a local stream sheet instance and still use the cloud-based Kafka instance to retrieve the data. But that's, as I said, in the next session. Thanks a lot for now and stay tuned for the second session.